Oh, how unkind. Forgive me. Forgiven. The fallacy of youth. Isn't it rather clear that it is we, women of decision, who hold the trumps? Lady Susan. Lady Susan Vernon. How dare you address me, sir? But Lady Susan. Be gone, sir. I will have you whipped. Outrageous. Have you never met him? No, I know him well. I would never speak to a stranger like that. Hi, this is Matt with CalTV Entertainment News, and I'm here with the ever-exquisite Kate Beckinsale talking about her new film, Love and Friendship. And I want to start off talking about your character, Lady Susan, uh, because I find that in many modern films, uh, even if it's a sci-fi blockbuster or more of a dramatic film, they have this quest to create these strong female characters, and they end up just creating, writing it as if it's a man, and then mm -hmm casting a female character, but this isn't even a modern tale. This is a uh, Lady Susan is in this patriarchal society that she seems to seamlessly navigate, although sometimes unscrupulously. Yeah. Uh, so what was empowering about playing this role and what in general drew you to the character of Lady Susan? I mean, I think it was, I, I, it's really surprising when you feel you know Jane Austen and her characters and her world and all of that, um, to find this kind of exquisite little unfinished very funny, very naughty, and rather subversive um, novella that she that she wrote, um, and find it kind of extraordinary that that she'd written such a kind of complete anti-heroine, who I think in, even in, a, in you know the modern audience kind of pushes the envelope a lot. I find that really surprising, and I think you know it, she's very much a product of of the period, you know, with all the constraints and limitations that that a woman would have. She's sudden. She's found a kind of way of navigating that in the most kind of deliciously naughty manner, um, and it's it. It, it's it's lovely to be part of a, a novel from that romantic period where this sexually rapacious, very naughty woman doesn't end up being burned in a fire or getting syphilis and dying. Or you know that's what usually would happen um, with those novels. So so it's quite nice to be that naughty one that got away with it. Yeah, well, I'm from Berkeley, so we're always on the side of the revolutionary. Right, I also right. study rhetoric at Berkeley, so it was fun to see you take a character that traded in your swordplay for some wordplay. Do you think you have any of uh, Lady Susan's rhetorical prowess? I think so. I'm much, much better with all that stuff than I am with the sword. I mean, really, I'm faking it with the other stuff. Yeah. That was, a, that was, the whole kind of action thing was having done so much period work and being English. Um, when I was, start, you know, starting to find work in America, they'd all say, well, you know, She's not good, but she, there's a whiff of crumpets and she seems a bit fragile and things like that. And so I thought, well, I'd better do something that gives me a bit more edge. And of course, that went completely out of control. But it's not my comfort zone at all. It's something I sort of did as an experiment that's now turned into a kind of monster. And you previously worked with both the director, Whit Stillman, and Chloe Sevigny. Yeah. What was it like reteaming with them? It was great. It was fun because I was very much the fish out of water on the, on the first movie. I'd never really spent any time in America. I was playing this extremely sp specific uh, American character with a very specific accent, and, and I didn't know anything about that whole milieu, which Wit is an expert on. Um, so obviously, I mean, I went to Oxford, studied literature a lot, and I felt I was a little bit more OK now. It's a bit more of an even playing field on, the, on this one now. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure. Again, this is Matt with CalTV. Love and Friendship hits theaters on Friday, May 20th. For more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.